This is Color Theory Notes, Part 1, for Graphic Design. We see color in our eyes because of light. It is reflected or absorbed by every object on Earth, and whatever waves make it back to us is the color that we see. Let's go over some basic terminology of color. The first is name. This is the most basic of descriptors. Red, green, blue, crimson, chartreuse, and turquoise are all examples of name. Next is purity. Purity is defined into chroma, saturation, and intensity. Purity simply means how pure a color is in relation to something else. For example, let's look at chroma. Chroma is a measurement of grayness in a color, from absolute pure red to absolute pure gray. Anything in between is a different chroma value. Saturation is the degree of purity. This is really a term for graphic artists using digital media. As you can see on the left hand side we have a pink that is bright and vivid versus the far right hand side where we have a very light pink value. The color on the left is very saturated. Lastly we have intensity. Intensity is the brightness or dullness of a hue. We can take the intensity down by adding either black or white to it. Let's look at value now. Value is very simply the lightness and darkness of a hue. For example, luminance. These three colors on the left are different, but they have the same luminance value. They all reflecting the same amount of light back to your eyes. The three colors on the right are all reflecting the same amount of brightness back to your eyes. That is luminance. Shade and tint are very similar in that shade is adding black to a color and tint is adding white to a color. The degree in which you add black and white determines the tint and the shade. Let's move over to Photoshop and look at our two color examples. The first color example is subtractive. That is your CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. In the subtractive color model, we start with black. Pardon me, we start with white and we go to black. That is why you see in the middle that the black is made up of all three colors. This is the preferred medium that printers prefer for t-shirts, banners, anything media-wise, because it gives a truer color. The only drawback to a subtractive color model is that the black does not always get to be as black as you want it, so the printing press usually adds an extra round of black on top. In the additive model, we are red, green, and blue. You'll notice the black outline around the additive model is because we go from black to white. The best example of the additive model is your computer monitor. When it's off, all the pixels in black are black. When it's on, and they're all turned on, the red, the green, and the blue, then you get the white on the screen. The degree in which they're on, on the computer monitor, determines what colors you see. Let's look at a couple of examples. In our additive example, we have red, green, and blue. I'm going to highlight all three layers, and I'm going to change my blending mode to Linear Dodge Add. I'm then going to select my red layer and move it on top of the green layer. And it will add the colors together to create yellow. If I select the blue layer and move it on top, it will create a true skin tone because we have combined red, green, and blue with our black background to get the color we want. Let's look at the subtractive example. You'll notice we are starting with white. I'm going to highlight my three layers again. 
and this time I'm going to multiply. We're wanting to subtract. So I'm going to move the cyan on top of the magenta and the yellow on top of both to get the finished product with the black background. Your example in Illustrator is the exercise. There are two rows of color that are exactly the same. Your job is to take with your move tool each color and drag it up to the box it belongs in. On the top is purity. You want to group the colors based on their purity. Do they have the, a high purity value? Do they have a low purity value? Or are they somewhere in the middle? For the bottom, you're going to repeat that exercise with value. You will drag each individual color to a box, light, medium, or dark, and group them based on their value, which is their lightness or darkness. Each box will have nine colors in it and exactly nine colors in it, so they will all be similar. When you're done, make sure you save this, and we'll see you next time for Color Theory Nights.